All right, hello and welcome to another episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. Um, I don't know why I'm on this menu. Uh, we're going against Birmingham away from home today, so it should be an interesting one. I don't know, can't remember where they are in the league. I actually checked it last episode, but my brain is not on. Where did they, where are they? They are in the 23rd. They're in the relegation zone, pretty much. So this should be a win. I hope it's a win. Uh, we also have a lot of games coming up, though, so... We may have to rotate the squad a little bit more than usual. We've got five more games this month inside two weeks. And then we've got seven games next month. Which could go to eight if we take uh, take down Burnley. I don't know when the next uh, round of the FA Cup would be. And uh, if we keep going in the Cups, we're just going to keep having more games. But that's fine with me because it means more success. But I don't know. What we're going to do with this game is I'm just going to play my... Hmm, who are we playing next, actually? I'm going to go back on the calendar in a second. That is probably our strongest squad we have. But I'm just going to check the calendar. And see... Who we've got after Birmingham. Derby. Where are Derby in the league? I'm just trying to think... Which game I should rotate a team for. Derby are quite low the, as well. So I suppose it doesn't really matter. We don't really need to rotate a team, I don't think. I think we'll just be okay with this. And they may have recovered by the next game anyway, so... Those ratings are coming along quite well, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually enjoying the way that squad is looking. It's enjoyable just reading the ratings. Especially Andrew Banks. He is 80 rated at 17 years of age. That is something right there. But anyway, we like I said, we are away at Birmingham. I don't think I showed you guys the last result. I keep forgetting to do this sometimes. Last time we were out on the career mode video, we... To compress it at home, we won 3-1. Should have been 3-0, but my defender wouldn't switch, I'm pretty sure, was the reason I couldn't get the defence in, and hence why we uh, conceded. I'm going to quickly take a look at see if there's any more um, big pre-contract players that we could go for. The main one that we're going to try and go for is Yuri Tielemans, and uh, hopefully we can bring him in if he doesn't sign a new contract. As soon as January hits, we're going to go for him and see what we can do. I don't know how much, like, wage we have to actually try and go for him. I'm just going to quickly check for myself. Oh, we've got more than enough. Okay, cool. We'll split the budget like that. What should we do? What were we going to do here? I was going to do something, but I've forgotten completely now. I was going to do something on this tab, wasn't I? Was I? Oh, I'll show you the Youth Academy. Up updated Youth Academy. We've got quite a few players in now. I don't know how much work I need to put into each one, but Govrov looks the best one currently. So I'll probably put the most work into him. We also brought up, immediately brought up a guy from the youth squad last time. And I'm going to try to remember which one it is. I think it was Cook that we immediately brought up. Because he had really good potential. He could play centre back and centre mid. Speed isn't that bad to be honest. Does need a bit of training in different areas. So I'd probably use him more maybe. I don't know what I'd use him more as. Possibly really as a midfielder. Three-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, so not too bad. But I don't really use skill moves, so it doesn't really affect me that much. But anyway, we're going to go into this press conference before the Birmingham game and see what questions we get asked. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining us. We'll take questions now. After your recent win against Preston North End, your fans are praising you and expecting another win. Do you have anything specifically prepared for the match against Birmingham City? From a tactical standpoint. High quality football. High quality football is what we're focusing on. We will always strive to be competitive and positive. The opponents you face today are very hungry for results considering their league position. Is your team as hungry as they are? We're trying to keep top and not let anyone catch us. The lads want it. Bradford is a strong and mature team. The lads want the victory and they know how to take it. A title tilt is on the cards as you continue to exceed expectations. Does your team have what it takes to keep this momentum going? I hope so. I hope the whole squad can help us. It's because of this amazing group of players were in this position. They all understand what is needed from them, and hopefully, even those not playing every week can come into the team and keep it going. Okay, guys. Thank you. End of questions. Thanks now. All right. So we've got a big press conference there. We're going to take a quick look at the news stories and then we'll go into the game. So you can see here, Carbonero goal settles uh, Preston defeat. I think that was the third goal that was scored, obviously. 
Uh, that's how we're set up the defeat. Um, UEFA, I'm actually kind of interested, to be honest, in these uh, Champions League and uh, UEFA Europa League draws, but I think this is glitched out. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Let's take a look at the team of the week. We've got uh, Hloshek and Carbonero in there, not too bad. And we don't need to read the next step on Bradford's title road because we know where Birmingham are. Banks happy with Bradford, that's good. Wooters is getting annoyed with Wooters. I don't know how you able to pronounce it. I'll go rotate him in probably for the Derby game. And of course, the main news Greenwood got the November player of the month. But anyway, we're going to go into this next game against Birmingham now. We've been talking too much at the start of this episode already. And I'm expecting nothing less than the win due to the fact that they are um, second from bottom. But I don't know, they might pull off something. We're going to have the strongest squad I can pretty much put out. We've got Rossi in goal, Kakachi and Sterling as a fullbacks. Kakachi, of course, the captain. Tomori and Tadebo, centre backs. Carbonero, Van Dam, and Greenwood, the centre midfield trio. Banks on the left, Hlushik on the right, Haaland in the middle. And uh, let's just try our hardest to get a win here. We're not. I don't think the Birmingham Stadium is the Stade Municipal or Stad Municipal. I don't remember what the stadium name is, so I'm just going to quickly check. What drill have we got? Shooting, of course. It's usually shooting. What well, a save, though, from Truman, to be fair. Alright, let's take a look at what the stadium's called. St. Andrews. Okay. I should remember that, really, but I don't... Because my memory is like a sieve. When you score goals, you make headlines, and this man is the leading marksman in the league. 20 goals for Erling goal Braut Haaland. Is he going to keep going his goal-scoring run? I bloody well hope so. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for Once Yota come back, comes back, and if he gets a Premier League, he and Haaland will be an insane strike partnership, I'm not even going to lie. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Birmingham City, and they take on Bradford City. Thank you, Derek. I was just flicking through my notes at this one. Everything points into a really lively matchup. This is fingers crossed, eh? Really lively matchup. Maybe Bir Birmingham will probably put up a fight. Every team seems to put up a fight. But they are in 23rd and we are in 20... Uh, we're not in 21st, we're in 1st. We're 22 positions above them. Banks is getting focused on here for some reason. Here's the lineup for Birmingham City. Birmingham's lineup. They've got a few good players. We've got, got Djokovic up front. And we saw Truman in that uh, training. We've <laughs> got Stockdale on the bench as well. He's a decent goalkeeper. Played five at the back. Fuck's sake. It's a good system as long as those fullbacks know their roles. I hope they play it more three at the back than five at the back. That would be really good to get a gap through and get some goals in. Quality of our players, I feel like we're able to do it. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Just talking about the formations as we prepare to hit the halfway point of the season. This will be the halfway game. Thank you. Enjoy the game. In the league, anyway. Getting ever closer to that episode 200 mark. Birmingham kick it off here at St. Andrews. And will we see positive display from a team who needs one? Or will we see Bradford continue a run that doesn't look like it can be stopped? Haaland. Oh, that's a bit of a hospital pass, really. I maybe should have just gone for the shot and hoped. I would have fancied my chances, to be honest, if I shot. But didn't. Tadebo comes across a bit far forward than what I'd like him to be, usually, but it's all right. Try to pass it to Greenwood, but they have me closed down. And if my headset starts playing up to them, I'm just not going to have it. Intuition to win it Kikachi wins it and loses it again, but gets it back again. Tadebo, lowest scoring team in the league is Birmingham. He's only scored 16 goals this season so far. Even Haaland scored more than that on his own. So Haaland has scored more than the whole team. Oh, just let us... Wait, we 
What do we do then? Okay, headset. We're gonna have issues. In a major way. My headset continues to be play up. I'm gonna be mad. I headed from Tamori to Carbonero, who's controlled it well, to be fair to him. <laughs> Birmingham players falling over each other, but they're holding their defensive line. Although Greenwood might slip through here, it's, it's not strength. Doesn't get out strength there, it's probably 1 0. Carbonero to Haaland. Van Damme. Carbonero. Greenwood. How does that pass not get to him? And then Kakache. Bit of a ricochet there, but we keep the possession. And um, They play it back to Kakache. How does he know I'm going to go there then? Greenwood picks up the ball and then fucking immediately loses it. What sort of pass is that? I may have brought Tamari a bit too far forward there, but Tadebo clears up. Greenwood, Haaland, tackled. I'm sick of Burnley doing good. I mean, I know they're not really an issue right now, but... If I mess up and they keep doing well, it's going to be a problem later on. Blaschek keeps the ball, pass it up to Greenwood. Van Damme. Haaland just runs straight into trouble. Oh, I thought I had it there, but... I was just concentrating, Haaland played off to Hloshek, tried to get to Carbonero, but couldn't quite get the finish off, and it's going to be a corner to Bradford City. That's how it goes sometimes. Banks, Greenwood, cleared away. Carbonero, Van Damme, Greenwood, try to take it around here, take a shot on, blocked. Given away. Carbonero wins it back though, Greenwood, in into Haaland, off to Van Damme, what a play, Bradford City, I've been, push I've been pushing this whole game to get that first goal and it's finally come, usually, not re well he's not really a scorer, he's more of a uh, sister is Noah Van Damme, but he scores today and a back flip pulled out, I want to say from the Belgian, but I don't actually remember if he's Belgian or not, but Van Damme, Puts us a goal to the right good here. The right We've been, it's been coming, Strikers realistically. It has been coming. Just didn't know when it was going to occur. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. And Bradford say, big lead here at St Andrews. Quality play leading to a quality goal from Noah Van Dam. Only three goals from he doesn't score many, like I said. More of a playmaker. 1-0 then. Well, we never like cutting off but Bradford would have been a really good pass if Taylor could have controlled it, but I'm going to go for Bradford throw when we get possession back again. We don't have to do real, really much for it to Mori. Van Damme. Greenwood. Greenwood. Van Damme. Carbonero. Dude, tried to turn my other way, but I couldn't do it at time. Wesley Harding. Harding tackled by Kakache. And now Banks. Just try to keep possession here. Van Damme. Greenwood. Knocks it through to Haaland. Carbonero. Couldn't quite control it. I was more wanted it to go to Greenwood. But it works out, I guess, kind of. But not really. They yeah, have defended it, but... Nothing worrying yet. Tomori's a bit forward. A bit more forward than I would have liked, to be honest. But Tadebo's just going to pick that up, no problem. We're going to keep the ball. We're going to get the ball back again, I should say. Van Damme. Habanero. Haaland tried to play on the more Van Damme, but tackled. Or all intercepted more and tackled. I think I did manage to get the pass off, but it didn't work. Catch a Greenwood out to Sterling. Van Damme. Haaland can't quite get there. The the interception now. from the Birmingham man. Get possession back though. Greenwood. 
Van Damme. Andrew Banks, usually on the wing, but he's in the centre midfield for some reason. Banks, Haaland, Carbonero. <sighs> Tried to get a shot off, dude. I couldn't. Out strength. Sterling keeps possession in. Or keeps the ball in the pitch. Good bit of play from him. Carbonero to play it back. They're playing so defensively. I understand why, but I don't like it. Oh, off the post, dude. Well, eight yards to aim at. He's missed all eight of them. Well, he knows they've missed a golden opportunity to extend the lead there. But Could have been two. It's off the post at the end of the day. We've won the header anyway, and Haaland now has the ball. I don't know where to go with it, though. Through to Banks, perhaps. Might be the idea. Mm. Couldn't get the shot off and, and the tackle. Hoshek gonna have the throw here. Greenwood. And I knew I was gonna lose that immediately. Back. Not enough room to do anything really there. Tomori heads it. Carbonero. Greenwood. Greenwood into Haaland. Every fucking time, dude. I'm about ready to pull the trigger on the shot and they just get tackling. Fadibo intercepts to Mori. On to Greenwood. We're going to try again for like 900 times to do something. Through to Haaland. Can he get the shot off? He can. It's 21. My age of goals for Haaland. About damn time we got a second. We, I don't... I don't know how much, I feel like we've had a lot more possession. It'll probably be something like 50-50 because this game, I don't know, this game might say it's 50-50, I don't know exactly, but I feel like we've had the control. We've had the game by the scruff of its neck and it's just our, when we want to score, we'll do it. And Haaland bags one again. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. It's quite crazy how, how much he's scoring compared to last season. 21 goals now for Erling Braut Haaland. I just wish his overall would grow to reflect so how good he's been this now. season. Very close to half time. In fact, we are at half time. A comfortable to the lead. Honestly, wish it could be more, but luckily we haven't conceded. I don't think they've even had a shot yet, to be honest. Handful for defenders. He's had one shot and just scored there, but apparently it's a handful for defenders. He's been tackled a lot of times. Playing where he wants to play, he will continue to hurt you given that. Van Down, Haaland, giving us a two goal cushion, heading into the break. Here at St Andrews. Just look around. Burnley probably still winning, they are, they're beating Preston. Forest drawing. Uh, I'm trying to think of other teams. Huddersfield drawing, Norwich drawing. Can't remember if West Brom were up there with us or not. We're going to go and look at the stats quickly. And, uh, yep, we have been in total control. Four shots to three on target, 59% possession. There's not been a lot of possession in our... Uh, look at that. Look at the map there. 3% for us in defence, 2% for them in attack. Midfield, it's kind of almost even, but we've had a lot of possession in that final third. And we've made it count with two goals. We just need to, maybe, I don't know, can we get a couple more just to seal the deal? Kick off the second half here. And hope that we can. I don't know why it went all the way back there. Marabati, Marab Marabati totally coming on for Boyd Munts. And they're already talking about possession even though we just started the half. Just look at what that Sterling, Van Damme. We said we would deliver high quality football. That's what we're trying to do here. Bradford City. Haaland. Got to lay it back to Van Damme. Carbonero. Don't know if he don't try. Still on the pitch though. What? Penalty in a yellow? What for? I mean, there was a bit of contact, but I don't think it was penalty worthy. Oh, he was pulling me back. Yeah, yeah, okay. I didn't realize he was pulling me back. I thought it was just like a little coming together. Harding's to get a yellow, and we're going to get a penalty. And as much as I'd love to take it to Haaland and try and keep his goal scoring run going, we've got a rule in these career modes, and it's whoever wins the penalty takes the penalty. So let's see if we can get Carbonero another goal. Oh, perfectly placed. Bottom right penalty. Keeper went bottom left. 
and Johan Carbonero makes it three here at St Andrews. And you've heard this so many times from me, but you'll hear it again. If it wasn't over before, it's over now. Truman dove the wrong way. And Carbonero scores another. And even though he is 23 and not quite growing as fast as some of the other members of the squad, he's still a key player. And as, as much as I'm thinking of selling him, I don't know if I'm exactly going to. Unless a much better offer comes along. Because his pace does bring a lot. So they restart the game and only and one I think team my, my personal opinion is that he actually works better in that three midfield than he did on the wide like the wide positions. He's more involved in the Roberts. game when he plays midfield like that. And that's what I like. Well, the championship is such a competitive division, and this is a game for you to look I really utilize the wings the a lot because crossing in this game is ass. Should be a header away from Kakache. Okay, our header across the box. Blocked. I think it was by uh, Tadebo there. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Tadebo picks up Hloshek. Holland. Carbonero could be through this pace here. I tried to be unselfish, but didn't put enough on the pass. That's my own fault there. I fully should have just gone for the shot. I want to be unselfish. Well, the championship is such a competitive division, right. and this is a game Four days before Christmas, we'll take on Derby County. That's going to roll the pitch, isn't it? Oh, it's not, but it's badly controlled. Van Damme is exhausted. And to be honest, he puts more effort than anyone else, so I'm not surprised. Van Damme onto Greenwood with a very decent pass. Carbonero, you see what I mean by he's more involved. But Hound doesn't want to move, to so I guess we won't get the pass to him. Half an hour remaining then. Half an hour left here at St Andrews. Birmingham look to be trying to get something out of this game. Not problematic for the keeper. And that's probably a good idea, but they probably should have been thinking about that from the start. Alan chests it but can't control it with a heavy bounce off the chest. Junic. Picache doesn't get the ball of Harding. But I did. Sterling heads it away. Switch to Greenwood. Holy hell game. Okay, Van Damme. Carbonero. Does have the pace over the Birmingham defenders. Oh, it's pawed away. I thought it was going to make it for Tolosek. Sterling. Another man with a bit of pace. Going to try a second attempt at. Oh, no, what? Okay, that's interesting. Not, not what I expected out of him there, but <laughs> could have worked. Could have been a possibility there. Sterling picking up the ball. Lost it kind of in the way, not going to lie. Greenwood to Haaland. Just turn around and take the shot. Absolutely phenomenal. This man is an unstoppable machine. I don't know what's happened between this season and last season, but he has become more of a goal machine. It's quite crazy, really. Haaland turns the defender, the manages to get a powerful shot off, and it's in off the woodwork. And uh, what a finish! 4 0 now here. And Erling brought Haaland. I, I just don't know who can stop him from scoring, to be honest. He's broken through pretty much every championship defence. Well, if I gave him more chances in the Carabao Cup, he'd probably break through air defences as well. I meant to make some substitutions just there, but completely forgot. O'Leary coming in for um, Van Damme. And I'm going to leave Greenwood on. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Haaland's had a good game. I want to keep him as fit as I can for the next game. We'll give Haaland a little rest. Move Greenwood into that striker position. In fact, actually, I kind of want to flush it there for a bit. Um, <laughs> I'll try to decide what I want to do here. We're rotating it a little bit, just for a bit of fun. It's too late to make a substitution now, but next time play stops. Bialba picked up an injury for Birmingham. Hopefully it's not serious for them. I even noticed a Pittsburgh injury. It was going well until there. Greenwood onto Hloshek. Carbonero. I must say, this looks promising. run into trouble here if I go this way. So, Van Damme. Greenwood. Down to Greenwood. 
Back into Van Damme. Can he make it five? No, it's a very good tackle from the Birmingham City defender. Now can they counter clinically? Full credit. Where credit is due. From the Liberty Stadium where a goal has been scored. Alan McAnally can fit us in. It's a goal for Swansea City. 74 minutes. Birmingham have had a bit more about in the second half. But I still don't... Well, obviously I'm not going to bring it back. But I just don't know if I see him scoring. Because usually they do regardless of how I play. They make one little mistake in defence and they just punish it. Delightful pass. Not as time though, Tadebo brings it away. Not where I want to pass it, but we've got it away eventually. Greenwood to Carbonero. Who I thought I could run through with, but the defender got across very quickly there and very well. In all honesty, too. Kakachi gets the ball back, but nearly falls over Greenwood, who loses the ball. Oh boy. Well, we can, we can be a bit complacent, but I don't want to be so complacent that we let goal in. Can we just keep the ball? <laughs> Sterling blocks across and it's going to be a substitution that I made about 10 minutes ago. And Isi Moven will leary come on for Haaland and Van Damme. Rotating Greenwood onto the right mid spot and Hloshek into that striker role. Just wanted to switch it up a little bit. Might as well. Already got to give him the bag. So they're going to get another throw in here. I thought it came off the Birmingham guy from being completely honest but that's not the end of the world. They tried the one too, but Sterling intercepts and brings it away. And Greenwood's not going to get behind Pedersen. I hope he would, but Greenwood is quite tired. Maybe I shouldn't have him on the wing. <laughs> okay, headset's just having a whole meltdown. Bear with me. Tadebo with an absolutely brilliant tackle once again. You expect it from this man at this point. O'Leary, I should say. Try to play it for the banks. This looks promising. Through Hloshek. Can he get the pass. shot? No. Oh, that could have been five. Bit less on that pass than it probably was. I pressed the pass about to the Not goalkeeper, but Sterling just runs past it. Questionable there. Works out, though. Hloshek's going to get closed down here. I need some more options here. That. Really a very poor ball. <laughs> I need Carbonero to keep running when he starts to run there. But I know he wouldn't have made it anyway. But I, I, basic brain cells being required here. here. <laughs> it's not what I wanted to do at all. Well, I thought I'd get there and then cross it in, but he slid against. instead. Taylor. Thank you for clean sheet at this point. Everyone's buggered. Going well. Kakachi is going to get outpaced once again, like he seems to do by every fucking winger in this league. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. I think Good we've got it. Oh, mm, they Kevin might have one more Prezi. shot at One more shot at a consolation. Never mind. Sterling gets a tackle and, and a beautiful display by Bradford. We got a bit complacent in the second half, I'm not going to lie. But it's still another very good display from a team who I am absolutely enjoying life with right now. This is one of the best career mode teams I've built, and I'm so glad I've kept going with this. I'll continue to keep going with it until I get to the Champions League. Unless something happens where I can't do that. Van Damme, Carbonero, and Hound with a brace. Secures a victory for us here at St Andrews. Birmingham City 0, Bradford City 4. We've had the official word. There will be a Pressing A, but... Alright, here we are. Let's see the stats. Birmingham one shot of one shot on target that entire match. Possession came back from a little bit, to be honest. It's just slightly concerning. They got a bit more in the attack. We got a bit less in the defence. But midfield was in their favour as well, just about. But we kept the attacking possession. And in the end, we had the most possession. 54% for us, 46% for them. One shot, one shot on target for them. Eight shots of five on target for us. Deserved winners of the game, beyond a shadow of a doubt. Carbonero, man of the match. And I did say he plays a bit better in that midfield role than anywhere else. Haaland with a 9.3, Greenwood with a 9.2, Van Damme with a 9.1. 8.6 for Tadebo, 8.4 for Sterling, and an 8 for Kakache. So decent rakes coming out of the boys there. Pretty sure Banks. Oh, that's, I don't know how much Banks actually did now I think about it, but I thought Banks maybe deserved a little bit higher. Man of the match for them was a defender, which is quite funny considering we won 4-0, but it is Dean, the captain of Birmingham, who gets their highest rating. I'm going to go to the post-match interview, see what we get asked. Around the grounds, Burnley, I think, get another win. 
Um, most of the promotion teams like win there. Oh, Nottingham Forest lost actually. Huddersfield won. I've got to write down the, t the top six teams just so I remember who they are each time. Time for just a few questions. Yeah, all time in the world. Lad. Tomori is continuous hot run of form. How satisfied is his performance today? He, to, to be fair to Tomori, he does do good, but he's overshadowed by Tadebo because Tadebo is an insane tackler. He's got to keep momentum. We need Tomori to keep this good momentum going for as long as possible. He did good today, but being able to keep this form going is what separates the great from the good. I'm going to try something the next game, actually. I'll talk to you guys about it in a second. The two goals to secure when Haaland was the hero today. Any thoughts? He just doesn't stop scoring, does he? An impressive performance once again from Haaland. I'm very impressed with the way Haaland played today. It was a world-class performance. Birmingham City is clearly not at your level. By scoring four goals, you demonstrate that today. Do you have any advice for your opponents? Keep trying, lads. We at Bradford City work hard, and this result is just another confirmation of that. I can only suggest they do the same, especially if they want to keep playing Championship football next Thanks, season. That's all the questions we have for you. I kind of not help the case by making them four 0 but if they want to keep playing Championship football, they need to get back into action. I guess back into form if they were in form in the first place. We're still eight points clear, still holding that impressive gap over Burnley, and we're going to do some training here. Greenwood just in the eighty. I didn't even realise. I thought he was quite far into it. It's my Mistake there. What's Haaland? Haaland is quite far. Well, he's a bit to the 82. Um, I think here. I guess we'll give some to good old Lundberg, whoever he is. He's on this page, that's why. He's 18 now. It'd be good if I could get a loan out for a couple of these youth guys in January. In fact, that's what I'm going to do after this. I'm going to add a few of them to the loan list. And see what we get going now. We'll give Lundberg two drills. We'll give Salisnev two drills as well. Rossi's 19 now. And I want to trust him as my number one goalkeeper. But I think we'll honestly just need a bit more quality within the goal. Like within like in goal pretty much. And as much as I do like Rossi. And as much as he'll still probably get quite a bit of game time. I feel like we just need an established goalkeeper. I need some of these guys to start growing a bit more, you know. Lundberg hits a 64. Selden and Verter is doing okay, I suppose. Robinson going up to 66. But yeah, before we end off here, I'm going to start putting some guys on the loan list. We'll sim up to uh, Derby to see if we get any more messages or anything coming through. Someone will probably request a game. No? Interesting. We will have a couple of rotations of this game. Tiredness actually isn't too bad. But I, I kind of want to rotate it up a little bit just to give some other players some time. We're quite far at the top of the league now, so I'm a bit confident in giving other players time. Look at Howland. Holy shit. 22 goals in 20 matches. He is a weapon. And he's got 10 million release clause from um, his team before Borussia Dortmund. I can't remember offhand. So if you guys wanted to sign him, uh, maybe a couple of seasons into a road to glory or anything like that, then he's got a 10 million, 10 million release clause. What was I going to do? I was going to put some players on the loan list. We're going to go in order of rating because that's kind of the way I want to do it. He's showing great potential. He needs a bit of time out though. Cook as well, another one. I don't know how much game time he'll get. Martin. Quite a lot of people here. Lundberg. I kind of want to keep around actually. Although he is 18, so no, we'll give him a loan out. Fredrickson. Give him a loan out. I don't want to loan all of them out. I want to keep some that can grow. Laganov, I'd rather sell, but he can go on the loan list. Robinson on the loan list. Um, Russo, I want to sell him, being honest. The contract's expiring in six months anyway, and I'll probably just let it run. I'll put Linkvist as well on the loan list, but that's, the, that's my max. I'm lying, I'm putting a little bit of on, uh, uh, Brown on there as well. I'm giving quite a few loans out because they are young players, probably prospects at the moment. So if I give them time, possibly, to get some games under their belt, then that'd be fine. I'm not getting notifications from any of them. Thought one of them would come in and say, I don't want to go out on loan, or I would love to go out on loan, or something like that. But no, nothing. But anyway, that's where we're going to end another episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. A resounding victory over Birmingham, which might put them bottom of the table. I didn't see the Blackburn result. 
No Birmingham still four points clear, but absolutely no better off than what they were. Still the lowest scoring team in the league. Haaland has scored more than Birmingham. And so is Mendy, I'm pretty sure. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to say is that's going to be... I don't know what I'm trying to say now. Let me stop and think for a second. All right, that's going to be another episode of Down. Getting ever closer to that 200. And later on this week, of course, it will be Elimination Chamber predictions. So if you're a WWE fan and you watch this channel for the WWE content, as opposed to the FIFA content, that will be coming out probably Saturday. But I hope you guys have enjoyed another episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. And I'll see you very, very soon. We travel to Pride Park to take on Derby County. Bye for now.